Hey guys, so this is my first video and uh, I just thought I'd add a few little, uh, done a lot of research on these cranks and uh, over the past couple of weeks, months, trying to find a solution to a problem and the problem is that the design of it's so proprietary that they require you to have a very very specific um, bolt configuration and so the issue is that this nut and there's four of them on the on the crank set. It's actually quite a tidy little, you know, quite a tidy little way of setting it up. The issue becomes that the thread is an M7 fine standard fine thread. And so I want to be able to to space my chainring inboard so that it's about I think about 46 and a half mil from the center of the bike. Uh, that's just so that the shifting sort of works in a sort of optimized fashion. And it's like, well, what are, what are my options? Like I could get someone to machine uh, some bolts, like eight of them, have a few spares. Or I could I could alter the, the actual chain ring um, itself. But that's like $110 part plus any of the machining fees that it costs to sort of change it. And this is for a $5,100... Um, uh, crank set this particular chain ring but so I looked around and the only M7 that I could find on eBay was a was a coarse thread and of course it just it just didn't interface with the nut properly because it, it because it was out the thread pitch was out by you know 0.25 of a mil or something like that so I sensed resistance putting it in and I ended up just leaving it alone so yeah just a bit disappointed in in this crank set because it is you know potentially up to a 500 hundred dollar crank set depending where you buy it in the world and i picked it up for you know 200 dollars, thinking oh it'll be you know an upgrade from the 5100 which is about 800 grams 900 grams or something with the chain ring so i i just thought oh it might be might be good but then the way that this is designed it's like if the if this strips then that's an extra you know 125 bucks so you've got some spare parts or you know if the ch if the chain bolts um fail then you've got to go and get some more machined i guess and it's just it's just really sad to see shimano doing stuff like this because um it just makes it harder for people that are just trying to already work within the really complicated compatibility issues of old bikes and new bikes so yeah i hope this is helpful to anyone out there who's looking at buying a set of the m9000s because it might you might want to reconsider um there's a lot of hassle in you know trying to figure it out and there's there's not a lot of uh, information online about it so i hope this is helpful to someone and yeah have a good one